We will head back to our Slate homepage. Now we're going to do some basic querying. Your second menu item is your queries and reports tab. Again, you'll have your pinned and recent queries, but for this, we will go into the main queries page. So you can either click the icon or click queries here. One thing to note is that um, queries are not changing data when you're just pulling the information. So you're just pulling a report of information. You aren't going to mess anything up. The queries in Slate um, have lots of options, and so you can do a lot of stuff with them, and you can use them to take action. But don't be scared of the queries is what basically we want to – that's the main point we want to share with you. This is going to be your main queries menu. You um, hopefully will not have near as many queries as me, but all the queries that you have access to are listed when you head to this main page. Please note you should always come in and click include shared queries because there are some queries that we have created that you have access to that might be very helpful. We will start actually with um, some shared queries to let you see what exists, which may even be enough for you. So everyone should have access to the general admissions report. There's going to be probably some different flavors. You shouldn't have as many here, but you should have general admissions report, general admissions report more filters, general admissions report simplified. And we'll go into just the general admissions report. So highlight that and click. And this is going to bring you to a screen where you can set some parameters. So for application status and term, any of these items that say pinned, if you click those, you can change sort of the parameter. So if you want to only look for applications that have that are in progress or haven't been submitted, click Awaiting Submission and Save. And then you can sort of narrow down your um, selection right from this screen. If you want to only look for in-progress applications for a certain term, so we'll just go Fall 2019. You just come in here and click your selection. If you want to multi-select, you hold down the Control button and you can multi-select. So we'll do fall 2019 and spring 2019. Oops, not sure why that happened. We'll click save. So you can see there, we just chose spring 2019 somehow. Um, we're not, we don't want to look at test records, but we can change that too in a different way later. If you want to look for a certain major, you can um, pin the major that you're looking for. And you can also pin sort of round is sort of population in Slate. So from here, just click Run, and you can see the information that you can already pull without having to write a query or really edit anything in detail. This general admissions report includes almost every data point from the application, so it's very comprehensive. You'll have all your test scores. You'll have educational history, lots and lots and lots of information. If this works for you, this might be the only query you ever use. Once you have the query the way you want to see it at first, you'll have different output options. It will always um, default to Excel spreadsheet. So if you want, you can go ahead and export this to Excel. You can filter, you can sort it, then it's gone from Slate and you can do anything you want with it to pull any data that you'd like. And then you can come back to Slate and you can just change the parameters with your pins or you already have your information that you need and this will be your only query. <clears throat> to return back to any query, you can go back to your main query page hitting all queries or you can go back to the general admissions report, the query you're working on. A few things to note. The matching rows will always update live. So when you're working on a query, um, you can get a feeling just from this main page if you're pulling, if you're in the ballpark of pulling the um, sort of data that you want. We'll narrow this down a little bit more and give it a break a bit. And our real-time matching rows will update. So you can tell, again, it went from 23,000 with that one click to 159. And if we run this, it should happen much quicker because it's still pulling a ton of data for these 159 people. Here we are. So from your output screen after you run a query, if you click the drop down, you'll see some, a bunch of different options. If you'd like to send an email to those that you selected in your query, you can choose deliver mailing. You also can download PDFs of these, PDF report, PDF document export, and we'll show you some more actions um, with what you can do with these queries in just a moment. So that's your general admissions report. 
same basic idea for any shared query that you have access to, we'll head back to our main query menu and we're going to write a basic query. You can also search your queries here if you ever want to. If you have a big long list like I do and you just want to search, you can do any sort of search there. You also have folders if you choose to organize your queries and folders. You'll have folders over here on this side. We now are going to write an, a new query um, to show you exactly sort of how to find the information that you're looking for. You can do a quick query. So you just kind of want to pull some information really quickly and you don't want to name your query. You don't want to save it right then. You'll always have the option to do that even if you go the quick query route. But for the purposes of the webinar, we'll go through the new query option and sort of go through all the steps. So we'll click new query and we will name our new query. If you want to put it in a folder, you can choose an existing folder or you can choose other and you can choose you can type you can create a new folder right here. You can even create a subfolder if you'd like and create many different ways to organize. So we've now named our query. Do not click share query with other users here. This shares with every Slate user on campus inside the graduate school and across the entire campus like the med school and the law school. Do not click share here. We'll go over other sharing options later. So click save. And then you now are going to start creating your query. So the first thing that you'll want to do or work on your exports and your filters. Your exports are going to define the information that you want to see on the population that you're pulling. So, and then the filters are sort of how you narrow down the population you want to see. I often think of filters as um, like sort of exports as the columns of an Excel spreadsheet and then your filters dictate who shows in the rows. I often start with the filters that lets you, because you kind of go into a query knowing who you want to see and what you want to look at. And then later we can decide what we want to see. So to choose your filters, again, this is how you narrow and isolate your population. The total number of applications that you have access to will always show here, and you'll see that number will change as we go along. So click Filter, and here you can choose different ways to narrow down your population. So if you want to just pull a certain degree, if you're in a program that has multiple degrees, click Degree, Continue, and then you can choose which degree you want to see in your query. So we will just choose Master of Science. Again, you'll see your matching rows of people you have access to automatically change as you sort of go through these filters. It's thinking there. And then you can choose more filters. So you can choose Master of Science by term, for example. And so you can just say Fall 2019. You can also choose Not In Here or In, whatever options you want. You can choose to see just applications that are complete or applications that aren't complete. So we just want to see Masters of Science applications for fall 2019 that are complete or not. We'll say yes. You can continue to add filters as much as you desire. Once you have your filters, if you ever want to delete one, just hover and choose the X. Or if you ever want to edit, so let's say instead of Master of Science, because we're getting 64, we want to change that degree. You can click Edit, and you go back into your menu. You can multi-select again, or you can change. And we'll just say we want to do Doctor of Philosophy rather than Master of Science. So click your new selection, click Save, and it will update your query and your filters here. Once you have the population that you desire, you can then go into your exports and now you're going to so you have the data and now you're going to tell them like what you want to see on these records. So click export and you have almost every option that exists in the Slate system here. So we highly recommend that you use this search bar. So if you want to pull a report of applications, you want to see their name. So you type in name and let's say you want to see their citizenship start typing in citizen we can say citizenship status if you want to see biodemo information like race you can choose that if you want to see um term you can type in term as you can see there's lots of different options so make sure um that you try to select the one that works for you so if you're not in the med school you wouldn't want to choose an amcas term 
If you have a question about which export or filter to choose, always feel free to email grad admissions. So we'll save our choices here. And you can see the different exports that we chose. Again, you can delete, you can edit, you can drag and drop to change the order. And then we can run this and we can show you that you've written the basic query and then we'll go through a lot of the more specific options. So we're gonna run the query we just wrote. You can see this here. So there again, you can um, choose to export it to Excel. You can bring it to an email. You can do a PDF. Here you can already see exactly the query that you just wrote. If you wanna make some more changes, head back up to the top to choose Test Friday. And we can go through a few of the other options you have. So if you ever wanna edit the name of a query or delete a query, click this large edit in the top right. <clears throat> there you can change the name. You can change where you how where you keep it. If you want to archive something so that you don't all automatically see it, it won't delete it, but you have the option to archive it so it doesn't show on your list unless you choose it. You can do that here. You can also delete a query that you've written here. Edit query here will bring you back to the screen where we built the query, and there's a few extra things we want to show you. So if you ever want to run a query and you only want to see the new rows that have been added since the last time you ran it. So let's say you run a query for submitted applications for your program once a week, and you don't want to see the whole list every time. You just want to see the new folks who've been added. You can do that from Edit Properties. So you have the option here to just retrieve only the new record since it was last run, for example, and some different options on that menu. You also here can share. So if you want to share with certain users in your programs, you can choose Add Grantee. The type will be user. You can give different users different options, and all you need to do to add them is just type their name, and if they have access to Slate, they will appear. You can choose to just let them display the query or also let them edit the query. And then if you want to add more, you just continue to add users from this list. And you can come back here and return here anytime. You can edit their permissions as well. So now those people also have access to the query that you wrote. If you ever are building a query and you want to preview the results without running it, you can do that here. And it'll give you a quick view of what your query looks like. You also can choose to sort a query different ways. So if you want to sort by citizenship status rather than last name, for example, you can do that here. You can also choose multiple sort items. So you can start with citizenship status and then choose term, for example, and that will sort your query by those options. That is a basic query. If you head back to your queries menu, you'll see the query you wrote in your main list. You'll also see the folder that you created, that we created, and there is the query that we created. So we're gonna go back into this and show you quickly how to make a very minor change and copy the query. So if you go back into edit query, Oftentimes you might want to have a same, like a similar query base for many different queries. So by saving a copy of the query, you can do that without having to recreate the query from scratch every time. Some good examples of this are for programs that want to filter by area of interest. So you can write the same basic query, but just change the area of interest that you're looking for. Or if you want to use the same query from different, from term to term, you can just change the term that you're looking for each year without having to totally rewrite the query. So we have our basic query here, and if we want to just make us like one or two changes, the best way to do that is to go to Save Copy, click there, and then you can name your new query. Just add something so that it's a new query. You just created another query from that first one, so you want to make sure you change the name. You can locate it at the same place. You can change where you have it located. We're going to click Copy, and now this is our new query. So this is Test Friday SEJSPR. And we, let's say, just want to change the term. So then you can edit. Instead of fall 2019, we will look for spring 2019. Our, num our matching rows have already changed. Click Save. And then if you go back out to All Queries and go into your folder, you'll see that you now have two queries there. So just with a few clicks, you were able to write a whole new separate query with new criteria. And that is basic querying. We will now move on to the slate reader.